How do we abide? Of God are ye in Christ Jesus. It was the work of God to put you there, and he has done it. Now stay there. Do not be moved back onto your own ground. Never look at yourself as though you were not in Christ. Look at Christ and see yourself in him. Abide in him. Rest in the fact that God has put you in his Son and live in the expectation that he will complete his work in you. It is for him to make good the glorious promise that sin shall not have dominion over you. The kingdom of this world is not the kingdom of God. God had in his heart a world system, a universe of his creating, which should be headed up in Christ his Son. But Satan, working through man's flesh, has set up instead a rival system, known in scripture as this world, a system in which we are involved and which he himself dominates. He has in fact become the prince of this world. Thus, in Satan's hands, the first creation has become the old creation, and God's primary concern is now no longer with that, but with the second and new creation. He is bringing in a new creation, a new kingdom and a new world, and nothing of the old creation, the old kingdom or the old world, can be transferred to the new. It is a question now of these two rival realms, and of which realm we belong to. The Apostle Paul, of course, leaves us in no doubt as to which of these two realms is now in fact ours. He tells us that God, in redemption, delivered us out of the power of darkness and trans the kingdom of the Son of his love. But in order to bring us into his new kingdom, God must do something new in us. He must make of us new creatures. Unless we are created anew, we can never fit into the new realm. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. However educated, however cultured, however improved it be, flesh is still flesh. <laughs>